it's family hour. There must be something on. It's Monsters, our favorite show. Shh, it's starting. What? what? Come on. His dad died. He never invited anyone else home to meet the family. Oh, we've only been out a few times. I just thought, a barbecue. I mean, of course, he's very nice, very well-educated. He just started uh, as a psychologist at the university. God only knows why he'd want to go out with me. Come on, Mom. It's because you're hot. Anyway, you always tell us how you and Dad only went out three times before he proposed. Well, that was different. Yeah, so the question is, is this different too? He did say that he wanted to talk to me about something important. Neil, how many times have I told you not to do that? And Neil, why aren't you wearing your new glasses? They don't fit right. They make me dizzy. They look stupid. Look, you can't go on wearing your dad's old glasses. They're the wrong prescription. I don't care. And we spent a lot of money getting you new glasses that are the right prescription. And I don't want my son going around looking like he can't afford new glasses. So please, kindly wear them. Besides, those old things make you look like an idiot. They're six sizes too big. I don't care. Now listen, honey. I'm gonna ask you a favor, okay? Warren is a very nice man and a very special friend of mine. Can you try and be nice and not carry on while he's here? Huh? Will you do that for me, honey, please? Neil. He doesn't understand. Maybe I should ask Warren to talk to him. Neil doesn't need a shrink. No, I just mean somebody to talk to. I'm worried about him. He doesn't have any friends. He just hangs around the house all day. I just wish he was a little more normal. Well, he's normal as anybody. Mm. He will be once he gets over Dad. It's been a year and a half. Angie? Hi. I'm lying out front, but nobody answered. Well, we were all back here. You look lovely, Angie. Thanks. You must be Terry. So you've got your mom's good looks. Thanks. Uh, here, put those in some water and then go and get your brother. Sure. And uh, remind him. Every time Mom tries to go out on a date, you spoil it. You know, she's entitled to have some fun, too. He has fun with us. God, are you ignorant? You know what your problem is? You don't think about anybody except yourself. Since his father died, he's been a little shy around strangers. It's not surprising. After all he's been through, he just needs a little time. I'm sure it isn't easy for you either. Find a work, raise a family, raise two kids all on your own. It's not so bad. <laughs> Give yourself some credit, Angie. I do. No, you never told me what happened to your husband. He was killed on the job. He was a policeman. 
It was in all the papers. Oh. <sighs> I wonder where Neil and Terry are. Okay, Neil, fine. If that's the way you're gonna be, then it's better that you just stay right here. Because the last thing Mom needs today is having you mess up the barbecue with another one of your stupid scenes. You can just stay up here and rot. Neil, Terry, we're in Neil's room. For Ma, please. All right. Kids. Someone wants to say hello to you, honey. Hello, Neil. I've heard a lot about you. Hello, Neil. I've heard a lot about you. Neil, what is wrong with you? Warren, I'm sorry. All right, I think I should wait downstairs. It was nice meeting you, Neil. Mom, please. Neil, for God's sake. It's the glasses. I cannot believe you. Mom, there's something wrong with him. I mean, really wrong. He's not human. Oh, you are? Terry, shush. Don't you see? He wants to sneak in, pretending to be human, and take Dad's place. Wow, just like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Please, Mom, just look at him through the glasses. You'll see. Neil, listen to me. I am in charge of this family, and I'm going downstairs with Warren. You can join us if you want to. If you want to stay up here, that's your decision. Real smooth going, Neil. I thought you were going to give him a chance. Neither of you see it, do you? You think he's a man. Well, if he's not, then he'll do until one comes along. Terry, he's a thing. He's disguised like a man, but he's not. Please, just look at him through Dad's glasses. You'll see. Neil, take a break. He really admired his dad, wanted to be just like him. And I think Peter understood him better than I do. When Peter died, it was like the family was broken, wounded. Still has a meal. Everybody has their own way of coping with it. And when Neil's behaving is very common. He's been through a lot. You all have. You should be careful. I'm a very careful fellow. Hey, Mom, do you, uh, do you want the macaroni salad? Uh, sure. I mean, if you like macaroni salad. Sure. <clears throat> That'd be great. Well, anyone for burgers? Sure. I don't get to do this often enough. I miss it. Well, being part of a family, I think family is the most important thing. It gives you something to come home to, something to be a part of. I miss having a man around the house. I know Neil misses having a man to talk to. Well, he certainly doesn't want to talk to me. Uh, maybe you could... What's that? Neil. What is it, Neil? Mom, I feel really sick. I think I'm gonna throw up. Well, hon, 
There's a bathroom just down the hall. Why don't you go throw up there? Mom, I feel really sick. Maybe I should go to the hospital. Mom, want me to go pound on him? No. Mom! I'll go talk to him. Warren, you don't have to do that. I... It'll be all right. Don't let your burger get cold. feeling well because you were hungry. So I brought you some dinner. I'm not hungry. Well, suit yourself. Where's my mom? Where's Terry? Right there outside. What did you think? You don't have to pretend with me. Pretend what? I can see what you really are. Neil, I'm going to tell you something, and I don't want you to take it the wrong way. When somebody loves somebody, the way your mother loves you, for instance, that gives you power over that person. And when you misuse that power, use it selfishly or cruelly, you risk destroying the love that created it. I'm sure you don't want to do that. None of that has anything to do with you. What are you, anyway? Well, I'm a psychologist. I help people with their problems. <laughs> what do you think I am? I think you're some kind of creature. And why is it that you can see me in my true form and your mother and sister can't? I'm not sure. It has something to do with my dad's glasses. They show you, like... Really? Your glasses? Hey! Please, let me have them! Very interesting. I sure don't make them like this anymore. Glass is fascinating stuff, you know? No two batches are ever quite perfectly the same. And minor differences in the chemical content of the sand can produce all sorts of interesting effects. Oh, sorry. Oh, my goodness. This is terrible. They're my dads. You did it on purpose. Be careful now. Don't cut yourself. God, get out of town. He is just perfect. No, oh, he is, isn't he? Do you think he's going to do it? You know, I mean, do you think he's serious? Like it was with Dad? Oh, God, I don't know. It sure feels right, I can tell you that. And I'll tell you something else. If, after being so perfect, he doesn't ask me to marry him, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Why us? because you're nice people. Neil, a family is the most precious thing in the world. All the more precious for being so transitory. What do you mean, transitory? You mean you're not gonna stay? I wish it were that simple. They never last. Never last. Never last. Never last. My dear families, a year, a few years and they're gone. Used up, used up, used up, used up. My flowers bloom and die. And I go on. It's tragic, really. You wouldn't understand, you're too young. Oh, I understand. I didn't mean you personally, I mean your kind. Your race. There are things older than people in the world. Races that live and hunger and move secretly from one generation to the next. Now, our kind needs your kind, needs your kind. 
Your life force. Life force. I'll stop you. I don't think so. It'd be better for all of us if you forgot about this. Better for you, better for the family. You should come on down. We'll have a really good time. You can stay up here if you'd like, but if you do, you're only punishing yourself. I hope I'm not sounding like too much of an idiot. <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm doing just fine. Warren, it's not that I... It's... Please. I understand. It's not just you and me in the equation. It's a whole family to think about. Don't answer now. Just consider it. Well, hi. Have you decided to rejoin the living? Want a hot dog? Mom, listen to me. It's not about anything you think. It's not about Dad, or my missing him, or anything. Neil. Mom, I don't care what you do to me. He's not what you think. He's like a parasite. Crawls inside something. Neil, can I just... You shut up, you! I know what you're gonna say. Something right, something just perfect. Just the right thing to say. You get out of here, you! Neil, shut up. Mom, do you want me to just beat the stuffings out of him? Terry. Neil, you just stop it. Now, you listen to me, young man. The world is full of things that we don't like. But there comes a time when we have to accept the world for what it is. Your father is dead and he's not coming back, not ever, ever. We don't like that, but we have to accept it and go on. It doesn't have anything to do with it. It's him, it! Neil, pay attention to me. Warren has asked me to marry him. All right. Mom! Listen to me. We care for each other a great deal. And this family needs a husband and a father. We're going to get married. And you may hate it. And you may scream and cry and be bad. But in the end, you're going to have to accept it. I know you think you've won. That you're going to use this up like you've done to the other families. But I won't let you. I won't let you stay. I won't let you take over our family. I'll kill you first. That is the last word. Now you shut your mouth and you get up to your room now. Now wait. Mom, I love you. No, it's all right. Angie. Um, he's just being Neil. <laughs> maybe it's me. I mean, maybe I'm doing something wrong. No, it isn't you. <laughs> It's just the way things are. This hasn't been the ideal night for a proposal. So long as the answer's still yes. It's ideal. <laughs> hey, Mom, can I be one of your bridesmaids? Neil. Mom, he's got Daddy's gun! Neil, put that down, I mean it! I know you do. I want you out of here. I don't want you to ever come back here again. Of course, Neil. If that's what you want, I leave. I don't believe you. Mom, please get away from him. Neil, listen to me. You don't want to hurt me. And that's the only way that you're going to get to war. And I'm not lying to you, and I'm not trying to trick you. I'm telling you the truth. Now put the gun down. Put it down. <laughs> I'm hurt. Where are you? Don't, don't worry, I'll be fine. It is Neil's fault. We'll get him some help. 